because I have been very, very angry because um, what happened is something that could have been avoided. But here we are, and we have all learnt. When I say learnt, I mean that, yes, we'll blame him for not getting a life jacket before getting on the boat, but it is something that a lot of us would do. <sighs> I know some actors that would not get on that boat without a life jacket. They would demand for it. If you like, call them difficult to work with, call them names, they would demand for it. And that being said, a lot of us will still do it. And I say us because all the small projects, small budget projects that come up, half the time people that um, are producing these movies are usually friends, colleagues. And when the person is your friend, you kind of want to understand the person's financial status and bend your back for certain things that should be tantamount or paramount on set. You just, you just ignore them because the person is your friend. This could have been avoided. It could have been avoided. That's a whole crew on water with no life jacket. Breadwinners, people's children, people's husbands. It's a really, really sad time for Nollywood. I am beyond I want to use this medium to say to Nollywood producers, must you shoot? I have not produced a movie in almost five years. Apart from the skits that I'm doing, that I do in the, in the comfort of my house or in the streets of Lagos. I haven't produced a movie in almost five years. I shot a movie called Malomo. I spent over six million naira shooting the film. I didn't make my money back. And that was how I ended it. You know why? Because I would not have people come 2000 and I think the last time I did the movie was 2019 after I had my son. I will not have people come on set in 2019 and I begged them, even with six million naira, you still have to beg some people to say, please, you know, this is what, this is what my budget is. I don't make money. Then in 2020, you want me to still gather people again and still beg them. I still tell them, eh, you know, there's no money in the business. And they will still come out based on relationship or based on whatever factor that it is that is making them come out of their houses to come and hustle for their daily 2K. But I will not do that in 2019. Do that in 2020. In 2021, again, I'm calling people to come out, to come and help. Brother, sister, if the business is not good for you, you pack up. And that is why I have the right most times. I tell producers to their faces, if you cannot produce, pack up. Because I did. The people who have the knowledge of how to make money from the business, let give them space. And learn from them. You don't force every, every single person has a YouTube page. And everybody's a producer. Why, why are we doing this? If we, if, if, if for a group of actors, you don't even have to be friends. As long as you're all business minded, you can come together. 15 people, 10 people, 12 people, 18 people come together, bring two, two million, four, four million, five million, whatever amount it is. Do you know how much that is going to amount to? Now you shoot a good film. Imagine 15 people shooting one good film and selling it to Netflix. You make your money back and profit because you know what? Because you know why? There was effort. Now you take 1.5 million or 2 million naira, which like two or three years ago, I was on a production and the person was telling me, uh, <clears throat> this is the highest she spent on the job. And I was expecting her to say something like 5 million at least because it's a small project. And she, she's telling me, oh, she spent 
three on this job. And I'm looking at him like 2.3 million naira. This job that I'm on. Because I know how much I took for that job. I couldn't do the math. I, I, could, I couldn't do the math. I was asking myself, so how much did they pay every, every other person? I couldn't, I couldn't do the math. Because I know how much I took from that job. From the 2.3 that she was complaining about. I knew how much my own money was. I could, I could not do the math. How do you shoot a film with that kind of amount? No, I, I, I do my skits. I do my skits every now and then. I shoot in my house. I post, I post, and I post them. Because you know what? That is what I can afford. Now, you're shooting a YouTube job and you're carrying people across the sea. Which one are they shoot? So if you won't go shoot for Netflix or you won't go shoot cinema, you will carry them go space. Everybody is a producer. Gathering people from their houses to come and work for you for nothing. For peanuts. Please. We should do better. There's no need for competition. If everybody wants to produce, come together. Shoot one good film. Have a professional financer, have a professional producer on set, get your film done, sell it, everybody makes their money. If it is for cinema, you can imagine 15 actors or 15 movie makers coming to shoot one film. Do you know how much publicity that you people will gather for that one film? And you will get your money and you will shade clink and everybody will go home. I mean, I'm say you go shoot film 1.5 million naira, you go sell at 1.8. Movie, post-production, the whole hassle. And you make extra maybe 300,000, 400,000. And then you go back to the circle again. You bring out another 1.5 to shoot another film. And you keep your, your change of 400k in your pocket as a producer. Does that make sense? Instead of you to do that, why don't you just look for 2 million and una go many, una go gather them. Shoot one correct, correct Obunga film. All of una, everybody go pull hand together. Push this film. If you go sell, Funke Kindle has proven to us that we can make over a billion in the cinema. Go watch American movies. You go see big, big companies. Big, big companies who are already established. They go see come together, shoot one film. You go put film like this. You go see 20th Century Fox. Then inside the film. The one where carry uh, woman, where they will be like, where they start like this for, for on top of that day there. The one where the Pekin sit down on top moon, where they fish like this. All of that go there inside one, one film. And then you hear the movies sold billions of dollars. That's because everybody put hands together to get one film. Money where they share, these sweets. Not be my own, my own, my own, my own, my own. Not be everything. Money where they gather work for share. It's these sweets. Then if you want to do your own thing, you can do it small, small. You want to shoot small YouTube films, you carry people, children. Go, go on top of river, ninja. What are we all shooting? What are we all shooting? Hollywood, uh, Hollywood producers, what are we shooting? Eh? Who will take care of all these people? The people that they have this, this full men and women have left behind. Who's going to take care of their family for them? Anyway. I think as a people, we should just do the right things. And we should start learning how to do CPR and the rest. Because if you check it, a lot of times, a lot of times, a lot of people have passed away because of sheer ignorance, not knowing what to do in an event of an accident. So guys, be careful out there. And remember that. I love you guys. Have a good day.